This one is going to be on Media Info. Media Info is kind of like a G spot. No, <laughs> not the G spot we're talking about. Not this hot baby here. Okay. Uh, the G spot I'm talking about is um, a program in Windows. It's called G spot. And the main um, advantage of G spot was to find out what codecs you need. Because uh, they have codecs problem in Windows. In Ubuntu, it's not really, you know, we don't have that much problem with the codecs. Okay, but let's say if you you download a pro uh, a uh, movie or something, and you want to know like what codecs they're using, what kind of bit rate, and all that. Uh, by default, Ubuntu they don't show you that much. Let's say you have this file here, right? And you go to properties here. Go to video. See, they don't show you that much. You know, they show you some. But it's not enough to like. Let's say if you want to duplicate what they're trying to uh, encode or something, you want to encode the same kind of type of file that they want to do. It's kind of hard because you don't have a lot of information. But with Media Info, they give you a, uh, you know, all the possible information about that video or the file that you have. So that's why it's good to have it. Uh, let's see, I if you load it in, they'll show you uh, what they're using. Now you can use the HTML view, and you see there, there's um, they tell you the the format, the container, uh, the codec, um, the bit rate, the height, you know, dimensions, and all that. So this is mainly what it's for, um, because you know, sometimes you see a file, and if you're like a video um, encoder, and you want the file to look exactly like the one that you you like you want to emulate it this is what it's for you know you you have all the specs that they have and you try to emulate what they got so that's why it's more that's what it's for and that's why it's, I think it's useful if you need this program it's not useful for everyone because not everyone is going to use shit okay but that's what is what's that's what it does that's all it's for